from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. PhD student Paul Mock is a mathematician at UC Davis. His area of expertise is computational biology. So this equation is fixed. So mm -hmm. S, yeah, S is, it's 0.13. But when he is not exercising his brain cells here, he is torching his leg muscles on his $8,000 Pinarello Prince carbon fiber bicycle. Mock just signed a contract with the Bissell Pro Cycling team. A former All-American collegiate runner, Mock has only been cycling for about four years. He says cycling links fitness with tactical precision. In running, if you want to get faster, you just have to get in better shape. In cycling, it's about timing your move. And if you, if, if you make the right move at the right time, that, that can win the race for you. But you could be the strongest guy and the dumbest racer, and it's not really going to help you. On the exact course that the MGen Tour took through Yolo County, Mock explains the difference between amateur bike racers and the elite. What you can do max for five minutes is pretty much what they can do max for 20 minutes. So after five minutes, you're done and they're still going. Mock says that within a year, he hopes to be a full-time sponsored Bissell team member racing all over the world. But for the moment, he couldn't be happier. I had to do research that I really enjoy. I got to ride my bike that I really enjoy. You know, I have a wife that I really enjoy. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> It's been said that professional cyclists might be the most fit athletes, and many owe that to Alan Lim, a sports physiologist who trains the Garmin Slipstream Pro Cycling team that competed in this year's Amgen Tour of California. Everything that we touch, there is some science involved in it, from the bicycle to the food we eat to the way we train. Lim, who has a doctorate in exercise physiology, did his undergraduate work at UC Davis. I really believe that professional cyclists are the most studied, the most analyzed, the most tested. As the team wound its way through Sacramento and Yolo counties on a training ride, Lim kept a close eye on his athletes. They want reasons for why we do things. And in so much that science can give them a reason for why they do things, they embrace that and they go about their activity with a lot of confidence. And I think that the other part about being an athlete is you've got to have that confidence. You have to have that belief in what you're doing. If you can use science to inspire that belief, then you've got a powerful tool. For example, to help analyze the rider's performance, there is the so-called black box on the rear hub. It records valuable data. That information is relayed to an onboard computer that can give instant feedback to the rider. Metabolically, it is one of the most demanding sports. Judd Van Sickle, a UC Davis biomedical engineer who helps train cyclists, says it's a grueling sport. It's an incredibly grueling sport, especially because you have to do it day after day after day. And it's a, a very, very difficult effort that is extended for hours on end. The training regimen begins months before a race. These elite riders on the Garmin Slipstream team have trained seven days a week under the guidance of team physiologist Alan Lim. Let's do one more hard pull and then just flip it. Lim, trained in exercise science at UC Davis and the University of Colorado, is one of the leading coaches in the world of professional cycling. Because of the huge energy burns in this sport, nutrition is critical. Diet is everything. It's the fuel that we put in our bodies. We tend to use a fairly gluten-free diet uh, to try to decrease the inflammatory response associated with, uh, with gluten, even though a lot of the guys are not allergic to it. Um, outside of that, it's a really sensible whole food-based diet. Lim insists that his athletes get plenty of rest between brutal workouts that can last four to five hours. There is no such thing as overtraining, just under-resting. It's what you do off the bicycle that probably matters more. I think that the human machine is really smart. You can do a whole lot of work and the body will know when to stop. But if you don't uh, get enough sleep afterwards, if you don't eat the right stuff afterwards, if you don't get adequate rest and the body doesn't recover, then you're going to be at a real deficit. Lim says science has revolutionized the sport of cycling. It's not just the end products per se, but it's the methodology. It's the way you go about doing things by taking a, a scientific approach to everything we do. He says what science cannot do and may never be able to do is test the human spirit. Paul Fotenauer reporting from Sacramento. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.